is the Emergency Medical Minute. Okay. So the other day I worked a shift and we had a young man who came in and his chief complaint was that he couldn't pee. So what do we do for patients who can't pee? Put in a Foley catheter, right? Well, first we take it a moment of silence and we're glad that it's not us because it's really uncomfortable. And then we try to act quickly and, and put in a Foley catheter. So the plot thickens. Uh, as we talked to this young man, he'd been in a motorcycle accident uh, eight hours earlier. He really wasn't, didn't feel that bad. He was wearing a helmet, uh, separated from his motorcycle. Couldn't remember a lot of the details, although it wasn't for head injury. He didn't have any signs of head trauma. His neck didn't hurt, nothing hurt. But he said, I can't pee, and it really hurts down there. It feels full, and I can't pee. So we did a careful examination. No pelvic tenderness anywhere. And uh, when we want to put in a Foley catheter, we notice that there's blood uh, at the urethral meatus on his penis. So, dun, dun, dun. What kinds of injuries are we worried about now? What did uh, There's blood at the meatus. What kind of injuries are we worried about? Uh, bladder rupture. Bladder rupture, Okay. Renal injury, sure. Anything else? What's that? Urethral trauma. Urethral trauma. Okay, he could have a penile fracture. Right? He could have a pelvic fracture. That's what we're usually worried about, a pelvic fracture that has resulted in one of these other injuries that you've all named. So how do, how do we proceed? We just say, eh, just rinse off that blood and go for it. Let's put in a Foley catheter. CAT scan, okay. Call urology. These are all good things. So there's something else we need to do before we put in a Foley catheter. And it's like from our old school bag of tricks and we hardly ever do it anymore. But we did it on this patient. And so it's called a rug, a retrograde urethrogram. So the basic idea is we can't just willy-nilly put in a Foley catheter because if the patient has a urethral transection, you know, they've got this little passage that's just a little bit off now. We try to put in a Foley catheter and all of a sudden we made a, make a huge false track and convert what was a partial tear in the urethral threat to like a major repair that may or may not heal very well. So you can't just put in a Foley catheter. So the retrograde urethrogram, the basic idea is we get x-ray at bedside. Um, we ask them to uh, prepare to shoot a, a, a lateral pelvis and an AP pelvis. And we put in just a little bit of viscous lidocaine uh, into the tip of the penis for comfort. And then we get some water-soluble contrast just pulled up in a 10cc syringe with an angiocath and squirt in maybe a couple cc's, maybe five cc's of water-soluble contrast and immediately shoot a picture. And what that's hopefully going to show us is the urethral tract through the penis. Uh, if that is uh, not intact, then we're a no-go. Then we need urology to come in and help us probably with a cystoscope. If that is intact we can try like one or maybe two very gentle insertion of the Foley catheter uh, and see if we can get that through. If you meet any resistance, you have to stop because it means presumably you, you could be worsening a urethral injury. Uh, and then we can go on to shoot a cystogram and do a CT scan and some of these other things. So in this young man, were you around? Maybe you were around. He did, in fact, have a bladder rupture. So he had ruptured the dome of his bladder. It was kind of an interesting injury because he truly had isolated suprapubic pain. I felt all around his pelvis, iliac crest on the sides, in his inguinal crease, even like smashing on his perineum, no tenderness anywhere but he did have super pubic tenderness. I think probably what happened is that he had a relatively full bladder, you know, straddled something in this, in this uh, injury, kind of hit his super pubic area, maybe on the handlebar, and just like a balloon, just popped his, uh, popped his bladder. So he had uh, dome of the bladder was ruptured. Um, one of our trauma surgeons went in, a small midline incision, found that rupture over so, and uh, he's doing well now. Uh, he'll need a catheter in for a couple of weeks, and then they'll take that out and do avoiding trial and all that good stuff. So retrograde urethrogram, it's a pretty easy procedure, but not something that we do very often. But if we have trauma patients that can't urinate or have blood at the meatus, we got to do it before we do anything else. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, keep listening.